Fool in the rain. Fool in the rain. I gotta make this short. There's not a lot of juice left in the camera. <clears throat> Fool in the rain. Not really the pur Purdy Shuffle, not the Percaro Shuffle. It's its own thing. It has a swagger to it, a loping feel, not as many grace notes on the snare. Um, this is how we break it down. We're going to do the verse, and then the bridge, and then the middle. The verse is, okay, right off the, it's one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a, the whole song, except for the middle. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Bass drum on the one, snare on the three. It's the golden rule, okay? Hi-hat, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one. Okay, that's a good thing to practice. A one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one. That's a, a cornerstone of it. So now what we do is we're going to add in the grace notes. The grace notes on the snare, which are lightly played, occur on the an of two and the an of four. So one, a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Okay? So... Now what happens is, so the bass drum on the one, snare drum on the three, grace notes of the snare lightly played on the an of two and the an of four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. Okay, that's how it goes. Now, now you have the bass drum. A one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and so it's a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and okay. Again, we're not done. The hi-hat bar comes in. The hi-hat bar comes in. It's on the uh of one. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and three and a four and a one and a two and... Although it's played very lightly. Not lightly, but it's not sloppy. You tap it on the top of the cymbal. 15-inch sound edge hi-hats, Peisty sound edge hi-hats, whether they're Formula 602 or B or B8, uh, B20, Formula 602 or B8 2002, probably B8 2002. But again, on the top. Okay? To make the full beat. and the awe uh of one. A two and a three and a four and a one and, okay? And then I said the bass drum, right? So, yeah. A one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three, okay? Hi, okay, so we got the beat covered. <laughs> To the bridge, okay. We're just gonna kind of take it like Henry Ford. We're building a Model T. The bridge. What happens there? Silence. Is that?
that it still is one and a two and a three and a four and a, and you still are doing a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. Except on the bell of the ride symbol, you're dotting quarter notes on the triplets. So one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and so it's like if you're doing the triplet still. Um, so let's see you're doing one and a two and a three and a four and a. You're dotting it. So one, uh, so I'll, I'll do the, so one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three, okay? One and a two and a three and a four and a three. Rock your foot. The rocking is easier. You can just hit, but it occurs. The closing occurs on the two and the four. The four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Except add the bass drum. I'm sorry. Add the bass drum. Grace notes. Generally, the grace notes, generally, kind of the paradigm is, I know I said in another video I really didn't hear grace notes, but honestly, that was kind of before I heard the outtakes. You know, I don't have the best ears. I, I didn't have access to the masters, so bear with me. So, the grace notes typically will occur on the two and the four also. So one, the two, so one, the two, and the three, and the four, and the one, the two, and the three, and the four, and the one, the two, and the three, and the four, and the one, the two, and the three, and the four, and the one, the two, and the three, and the four, and the one, the two, and the three. Although occasionally, he will throw a grace note on a, on a, an a uh of the, he will throw the grace note sometimes on the a uh of a, uh, Sometimes the one and sometimes the two and of the he'll th occasionally throw an, an ah uh in there too. But generally it's one the two and the three and the four and the one the two and the three. And the four, and the one. But again, you can throw an occasional one and a uh, two and a. Uh, you know what I mean? You can throw in an ah uh here and there. Um, Moxie, we love you. Be quiet, Baxter. Okay. So that's generally that then. And then the fills that come out are. There's a couple of those. And just where he goes around the time. All triplets. In a triplet. Okay? Um, so if I were to, so the song starts, and it's interesting, the song starts. One, two, uh, one, two, one, two, T. Fall. And then he busts in, right? At least that's what we hear on the outtake. And it's funny, before that, you hear Robert Plant, you, you hear John Bomb go, fucking hell. And you hear Robert Plant go, what the fuck's going on? And what the hell's going on? Which is hilarious. Anyway, everybody's human. You know what I'm saying? I think that is so funny. So song starts. Oh, that's another, sorry, I just thought of something. Occasionally, Bonham will throw in uh, another, uh, you know how he goes, one, a two, one, a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, a three, and he'll occasionally, I don't know, throw in a, a hi-hat bark on the uh of three, too. So, one, a two, and a three, a it happens just a couple times. Times usually at the end of the bar. All right, so let me go into the chorus. Um, so this is remember this is these are all the basic paradigms, but this is totally broken down. Even in my other video, I didn't totally break it down. But again, I don't know why it's not available in, in, in countries anymore. Some of YouTube's funky. All right, so then we go into the ba 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 You can hear clearly on the outtakes, it's the whole time he hits the bass drum 
and <clears throat> the hi-hat simultaneously. And then it's just playing. And those are all one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. But he starts throwing it on the timbales and I think on steel drums, different accents, which makes it sound like the snare is kind of going. But I think generally it's real simple. Call them 30 second notes, but I think they're almost, they're just crammed in there. Okay? So that's really the song. Um, and it's a great song. Again, it's different than the Picaro and um, <clears throat> uh, Purdy shuffles. The, you know, those are, and those are harder, I think, technically, of course, to play. Not knock and bottom, but they are. Those are real fast and they require more groove and stuff, but a lot of drummers, especially better, more technique drummers, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of drummers that pay attention to the subtleties of certain stuff, as in Zeppelin and other rock bands, kind of overlook that. There's less grace notes and more of a feel. It's not really noty and it doesn't sort of boogie. Do you know? I mean, like fast, do you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, th this is a remake, of course, of a video um, that I made, and for whatever reason, it's not available anymore. I mean, I still have it on YouTube but it just says it's not available in your country. So this is the new video. Okay, I hope you like it, and I hope it's helpful. Thank you.